Hey, I'm Anya, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a retargeting campaign for Facebook video ads. Make sure to also check out today's blog post where I talk a little bit more about the things you need to set up before you can start building your campaign. Okay, I'm inside the power editor and I'm going to show you how to build your video ad campaign and we're going to target a custom audience. So in this case, it will be previous website visitors. First of all, you're going to click on create campaign. First, you'll give your campaign a name. I'm just going to go for test. You can keep your buying type just as it is. We're going to go with auction and then you're going to choose your objective. Now for this specific campaign, we're going to choose website conversions. You could also choose video views, for example, but for this specific use case, retargeting website visitors will choose website conversions because uh, they are people that have already been to our website. They already know us. So what we want is to convert them to a lead or a customer. Now I'm going to click on choose an ad set and create new, and then you'll create a new ad. You can change these titles later, so don't worry about that. For now, I'm just going with test. All right, so as you can see here on the left side, you can see that we have four campaigns, eight ad sets and eight ads. If this is the first campaign, you'll just see one, one, one here. For now, I'm just going to focus on this one. So I will just click here, apply, and I'm only seeing this specific campaign. So here at the campaign level, you don't have to change anything because we've already selected our objective and our buying type. So we can just leave that as it is. Now we're going to go to add sets. First, we're going to start with choosing one of our conversion tracking pixels. When you're here, you will select the conversion tracking pixel that you want to use. And then you can choose your budget. As you can see by default, it will set it to a daily budget of $10 a day. You can also change it to five if you want to. For your schedule, you don't have to change anything. If you want it to start running as soon as possible, just keep this as it is. It will just start running as soon as Facebook has reviewed and approved your ad. Of course, if you only want to run it for a few days, you can change that. And then we're going to edit our audience. Uh, you can just click on it and as you can see because we're based in Singapore, uh, Singapore is selected here. I'm just going to uncheck that and then we're going to choose a custom audience. If you click here or just click on browse, you will see all the custom audience lists that you have inside Facebook. Now we have several already and for this specific case, I'm going to select a visited site but not dashboard. And what this means is that we're targeting people that have visited our website, but are not members yet, because for this campaign, we don't want to target people that are already customers. We're only targeting people that have visited, but maybe they forgot about us and we just want to remind them of our product. This is all you have to do here. Just select the audience that you want to target and click save. Then we're going to look at placements. This is really something that you can test with yourself. We've been running ads on the mobile newsfeed and desktop newsfeed. There are also some people that say it's better to test them separately. Just try it out and see what works for you. Then we're going to optimization and pricing. So if this is the first time that you're setting up a campaign, just choose the recommended option. And for pricing, you can just set it to get the most websites conversions at the best price. All right, so now it's time to go and work on our ad. I'm now inside the ads area. And first of all, I'm going to start with choosing our Facebook page. So if you have several pages, you can choose which business page you want to use for this ad. Then here below, you can choose an ad with an image or video. You could also use an existing post. For example, if you have a post on your business page, with the video that you also want to run as an ad, you can select that from here. But for now, we're just going to create a new one. So you can select ad with an image or video. And now I'm just going to paste in the ad copy that I've prepared. So here it is. First, you can see the website URL and the display URL, which is the one that the viewers actually see. Then here's the text for my ad, the headline and the newsfeed link description. Now this will all start to make more sense when I actually add my video. So as you can see, when you scroll below, you can select your video. Now here you can upload one, or in this case, I'm just going to use one that we've already used before. Now once you select your video, you can also choose a thumbnail. 
In this case, we're choosing just one that has two lines of text that we like, and you can choose a call to action. Now we feel that if you choose something like learn more, it's a, a bit more friendly than when you say book now or shop now, that it could be intimidating. But of course you can just choose whatever you like. Now when I scroll back, I can see a preview of my ad and that's a really nice feature. So you can see how it will actually look inside someone's newsfeed. You can also click on mobile newsfeed to see what it will look like there. So this is really great. You know exactly what they're going to get. Basically, you can just tweak for as long as you want. And once you're done, you can move on to the next step. Now, the last step here is your conversion tracking pixel. In this step, you can choose several pixels. This means that, for example, you can say, OK, I want to know how many people signed up for my free lead mag. And so how many leads I got as a result of running this ad. But you cannot only track leads. You could also track how many customers, for example. So make sure to also check out today's blog post because I start off with explaining what the difference is between the custom audience pixel and the conversion tracking pixel and some resources where you can find more info on how to install them. All you have left to do now is click upload changes and then you can wait for Facebook to review your ad. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.